Good morning everybody. I'm starting the vlog now because the bin men are down the road and I have a lot to vent about before <laughs> I head off to work today and I don't want to have to be delayed by like 15 minutes while I wait for the bin men to be quiet. So today's vlog is going to be incredibly short and um, I'm going to go on to explain as to why. I've been trying to be as vague and generic about stuff we're going on at work at the moment um, because I don't want to get into trouble. Not that anyone at work watches my vlogs or cares what I have to say. But I kind of need to explain a little bit as to what's going on today. So basically throughout the summer we've been offered to do an extra long shift, which is basically an all day shift, it's almost 12 hours. And um, I've purposefully avoided doing that as overtime because of my back. So the other week I was put down to do this shift. And I said to my manager that I didn't want to do it, and he said that the only way to not do it would be to get someone else to do it for me. And I vented about this to my friend because I was like, there's no way I'm going around to people in my store asking if they want to take on extra because I don't want to do it because that feels incredibly lazy and unreasonable. Which then made me angry because it's not lazy and unreasonable to not want to do an incredibly long shift like that. But my friend very generously offered to take on future extra long shifts for me because she um, needs needs the money and I was very I very graciously accepted I'm very grateful and feel incredibly guilty about it because like I said I don't want to go around asking people to take on extra and I feel like indirectly I did that subconsciously but I didn't go around and ask anyone else that she was unavailable to do today's one so today I'm doing a ridiculously long shift and I'm really I've just been really anxious about it for the past couple of weeks because I'm really with past experience in retail as well as just like general living and existing I know myself well enough that unless I sit intermittently which I'm not going to be able to do on this job my back will give out and it will get to a point where I can't stand up right and I just I'm really worried about I'm, wor I'm worried about being accused of being lazy more than anything I think that's my biggest pet peeve like <laughs> the whole reason why I'm not protesting even more and stamping my feet about not doing this shift just because I don't want people to think that I'm lazy but yeah it's it's kind of a crappy situation that I've been put in and it's not really anyone's fault like I don't hold it against anybody it's a pandemic and the situation is kind of fraught but there are also ways around this and I just I don't know it's just a frustrating situation so yeah today's vlog is going to be hella short and I guarantee you that the clip that you see of me this evening is going to be incredibly brief about my day because I'm going to be in a lot of pain and in a bad mood. Not that I'm actually actively like wanting this to happen, I don't want to be proven right, hopefully I'll be fine, but I, I know that I won't be. But yeah, that's the situation today. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Chris is, Chris is excited by the leftovers that I've scavenged from the kitchen. So potato salad looks really good. Mm-hmm. That's good. got mushrooms in it though. Yeah, no, it looks like some kind of stroganoff. I think it's supposed to be. I don't, I'm not really sure. I just saw the meat and the sauce kind of there on the frying pan and thought, that's yeah, mine. It's like... so I'm going to take that. All right, good evening, everyone. It's nine o'clock. I kind of went numb. <laughs> that sounded really weird. What? Good evening everyone, it's 9 o'clock, this train will be calling in at Clapham Junction. Uh, terminating at London Listen, Waterloo. Listen, please let me finish this so I can eat my dinner. Well, coach Carrie. I Wait, will, <laughs> I will stab you with a fork. Oh my goodness. My back gave out at about 6, um, which was fine because after 6 to no customers came in, which was really nice. Or like, a couple of customers came in and I didn't deal with them. So it hurt for about 45 minutes and then it just went dumb. Which is something my back does sometimes. My feet and my back just went numb. And um, because it was numb, I was actually okay. Although now it's starting to not be numb. And it's painful. And I'm tired. And I also dropped a box and trapped it between the shelf. And it's already bruising. And it's pretty sore. It was like right on my knuckle. It was like between my knuckle bones on my lower... You won't be able to see it, but there's a bru bruise forming already. It's like between my pinky knuckle and this knuckle. It really hurt. So yeah, I've survived 
I'm in pain and I'm tired. So, bedtime. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, slippers. Bye. Say bye, Chris. Bye. Bye. -bye.